Right, this is your favorite YouTube channel, United Fan TV GH, with me, your host, Sean Budu. And uh, <clears throat> I was monitoring Marino's press conference, and two interesting uh, issues came up. One to do with Eric Bailey, and uh, people were wondering why he hasn't been playing uh, for some time now. Uh, you would have thought that he was injured, but then Moreno says he's trying to give the players who are going to be involved in the World Cup uh, in Russia a fair chance of making it for their various countries' uh, squad. And uh, since the Ivy Coast uh, didn't qualify for Russia 2018, he feels that it's only fair or it's only human that he gives the people who have a chance of going to the World Cup uh, to play and impress their country managers or country coaches. That's why we haven't seen Eric uh, play for United for some time now. So he's not injured, he's fit and he's ready to go whenever to be called upon. And then the issue on transfers, Damian and uh, Blin. You know, in the past few days, there were huge or strong rumors that these two, one of the rumors was from Sky Sports, actually, and uh, Sky Sports is quite reliable when it comes to these kind of things. And was that Damian and Blend are up for sale. And uh, Moreno said in his press conference that he is, they are part of his plan, but then he's willing or he's, uh, he's willing to listen to offers uh, for any player who desires to live. But then Damian and Blind are part of his plans. But then they should tell you that uh, probably they are unhappy with the limited playing time that they are having and would want to go. Already the club is trying hard to convince uh, Fellaini to sign a new deal. It's unbelievable, huh? Uh, Fellaini feels he's in a strong position uh, to negotiate for a better offer at Man United and uh, the club are hoping that he signs a new deal. I wouldn't have thought that Fellaini will have the bargaining power when it comes to contract renegotiation but then that's the case now and uh, I know most of you actually want him out of the club. Uh, of course I would prefer more technical midfielders to Fellaini because I feel that we need to play uh, in a certain way. I feel we need to play in a certain way with certain kind of players. But then Fellaini offers a new dimension. Uh, the route one dimension, of course, when things are getting tough. Just as in the Arsenal game, he came on to score a winner. And it was very important for us to win that game after Liverpool had drawn uh, their game against Stoke also. So Fellaini has the bargaining power. For renegotiation of contract and it's upset to think of that. And uh, we have the game against Brighton, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. That's tomorrow. Lukaku will be out, so hopefully we get to see Anthony Martial play through the middle or play as the top striker or the lone striker. And maybe he'll be flanked by Alexis and uh, hopefully Rashford also. Uh, it's important that we keep these young chaps. As well as the experienced ones, we get them in because it's a blend of both worlds. If uh, we are really, really, we really want to compete next year for the league, and we should compete next year for the league. I don't think we should take anything less than that, and uh, also go as far as we can in the Champions League. So, the game against Brighton, uh, well, hopefully, we see Masia playing, and uh, I know you are looking forward to see Masia playing in my nine role. You are looking forward to see Masia stay at Man United because he has so much talent. But then he has to be patient uh, and he has to keep fighting for his position. It's important that he has he develops an attitude of a fighter, and uh, the coach also gives him a fair chance to be honest, uh, so that he will develop the, the already uh, great potential or great talent that we know he has. So I would like to hear from you. Your lineup against Brighton. Do you think we should mix it up a bit? Get, uh, give uh, some players a chance to start. Shaw, maybe Damian, Blaine, Rojo. And since everybody's fit, or we should continue with the winning team by, by Lukaku, who would set out the game against Brighton. I would like to hear from you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with your friends. 
It's Azzy United Fan TV GH with me, Sean Budu. Catch you again. Bye-bye.